Hey guys, going to show you how to colorize a black and white line art photo similar to this one. Um, the one thing you want to look for is images that have solid colored shapes, meaning there are no gaps in between black lines so that you can easily fill in the different shapes. So I have a JPEG that I've saved. I'm going to open this in Illustrator. So let's go do that real quick. A couple things you're going to need to do once it's in there, you may need to resize, like this one's way bigger than the artboard, so I'm going to just adjust the artboard size accordingly to fit the picture. Um, if it's a JPEG, you're going to need to turn it into a vector. So the best way to do that is with image trace. You can pull up the window to get that up and probably your best option is going to be just black and white and just hit the trace button. Don't forget, once you trace something out, you have to expand it so that you can see all of the different vectors and pieces to it. When you're ready to start colorizing, next thing you want is your swatches. Um, pick some cool colors that you're going to use for it. And whatever your color scheme is that you choose, then you'll switch to the live paint bucket. This is your live paint bucket. And you'll notice if I click on... A set of swatches here my swatches appear above my live paint bucket I can move to different colors by hitting the arrow keys on the keyboard <coughs> so when you start colorizing you just move to a piece <coughs> and it will highlight the area that you're going to be colorizing so if you look closely my arrow is where I'm actually coloring that, not the paint bucket itself. So pay attention to the arrow and where you're clicking at when you go to colorize. If you don't want all those selections, you, I think you should be able to do it without everything selected. Yeah, so you can kind of see it a lot better then. Um, so pick out some good color schemes that will work together and you just kind of go through each one and can colorize it. It's a nice, easy way to colorize a photo and there are so many line art images that you can grab out there that you can do some cool stuff with. So um, your goal for this one is just to make a colorized version of a line art piece and you want to use the live paint bucket. Um, good luck.